hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle uh, today I'm going to be doing a travel news worldwide 10 exciting facts July 2021 part 6 just before we jump right into it and um, if you could uh, subscribe to my channel it's free it's uh, the red and white subscription button and also click the notification bell on both uh, my travel and lifestyle channel i upload five times a week and and um, also and um, if you uh, can click the join button if you want to join my memberships for extra perks to start from 99 pence per month and um, also i would um, be uh, really grateful um, if you um, press the thanks uh, button um, and uh, donate um, either at two pounds five pounds ten pounds fifty pounds um how however much you would like to donate uh, to my travel channel to um bring better say lighting and and camera etc um so there's more exciting content be really grateful um and that is just a one-off uh, payment um also uh, today in the uk it's uh, lovely and uh, it's been lovely and sunny it's also been cloudy but mostly sunny it's still sunny outside now and it's um so uh, really good weather um t uh, today um so the 10 um fantastic latest facts um are uh, from breakingtravelnews.com uh, where i've got uh, my information and um, you can also read uh, more about uh, these uh, stories on breakingtravelnews.com um so we kick off um with number one which is airlines uh, uk jobs put in danger by the slow aviation reopening airline news a report commissioned by the airlines uk shows that critical aviation jobs um, are uh, to every community and constituency in the country data shows just how important aviation is at a local level um again it's really um sad news but i really hope um that again travel industry can um get through it um and people obviously don't lose their jobs um moving on um to number two Heathrow airport continues uh, to fuel feel the full force of the covid 19 um airline news Heathrow has uh, now seen um a cu cumulative excuse my pronunciation uh, losses from COVID-19 um, at around uh, 2.9 billion according to the latest results from the airport revenue fell by half um, in uh, the last six months um, to June down to um, 348 million and um, again um i hope um in the future um it recovers as uh, quickly as possible and again i hope i really hope that um jobs are not um again at risk um but or uh, jobs go um because again it, it to me more people out of work and 
in the UK um, and uh, will be on uh, trying to survive on benefits um, so um, I, I really hope um, it can recover as soon as possible and uh, number three IATA um, um, critics um, or crit IT I sorry IATA criticizes European Commission um, decision and um, the International Air Transport Association has banded the European Commission uh, decision to uh, set uh, winter slot use say hold at 50% as as out of touch with reality um, um, I can understand it um, really but um, I I A T A but um, again I really hope things uh, will get better in the future um all i have to say um but uh, moving on to norwegian cruise line returns to operation in greece that's the cruise news yes that's really good news and good luck to greece and norwegian cruise line and um, number five sky at uh, princess arrives in Southampton ahead of summer season um, so that's really good news um, and uh, Ryanair looks at number six to uh, summer 2022 for aviation recovery hopefully fingers crossed um, that's again the latest airline news also Riviera number seven Riviera travel chief um, um, commercial dive officer is to leave um, I hope he's replaced with uh, someone soon hopefully um, and uh, again um number eight emirates launches new flight to miami florida yes i hope go emirates and again um it's a will be good for miami in florida as well um for the us and number nine uh jet two boost capacity uh, to madeira and malta so well well done jet two um and uh, obviously they'll be uh, good for the islands of Madeira um, which is part of Portugal and uh, the country of Malta and number 10 last but not least Air Canada welcomes the Team Canada to the Olympic Games so um well done Air Canada for that and and the Canadian team can enjoy. Thank you for watching and uh, bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.